punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Ole Miss has had a really hard time establishing any kind of rhythm on offense today. Yeah, and we're so used to seeing that from them. They might want to go back and, and look at this film and try to study to see what they didn't do well because this is not uh, the type of offense you'd expect to see from these guys. Throws complete. He stopped immediately. Number three on the tackle with the 26-yard line. That'll make it second and four. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That's a loss of six yards. That brings up fourth and seven. Jones, the return man. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Alabama is up a score. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Loss of four on the play. That makes it second and 14. We've got a second and 14. Ball on their own 48. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Ready! Handoff on the draw, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and 15. Stop short. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Scott to punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The Rebels have sort of set up the defense with this wide receiver doing most of the damage. Do they go away from him, or do they do something different? I think one of two things here for this offense. You either find a way to get your star receiver the football, or in some cases, you want to use him as a decoy, maybe take two or three defenders with him, and then open it up for somebody else to be able to make the play. Man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Just under two to go in the game. He fires. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Number eight, the intended receiver on the play. Third and long here. And for the defense, if they get a stop, they've got a great opportunity to help put this football game away. He throws it. 
Incomplete pass. Too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32. Scrambling around. And he tackles him hard at the 39. Gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. The junior makes the catch, and down he goes at the 46-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. First down. Roger, Roger! Tins the mic, tins the mic. We ain't giving him nothing to him. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Shoot, shoot! He's wrapped up for the sack. Ole Miss will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Dives, and he's down. Seven-yard pickup on the scramble by the quarterback. The Rebels use their second timeout. We're at play number nine of this current drive. We have less than a minute to go. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's pushed out of bounds at the 45. That's good for a game of three yards. That brings up fourth and 11. This could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. This is their last chance. They need a big play here. Wow, what a battle, and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Takes a knee. Ole Miss is out of timeouts. From the 40-yard line, second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. Runs it left for a decent game. The ball game's over, and our final score of this one, 21-14, Crimson Tide. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Well, this one really could have gone either way. Ole Miss played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.